there, spark plugs. How do you like the hat? I bet when you see somebody wearing a hat like this, you make all sorts of assumptions about that person, don't you? You might assume, oh, there's a Texas cowboy. Or you might look at me wearing this hat and say, oh my, all hat, no horse. <laughs> you might look at me and say, look at that hat. What a fruitcake. What if I wear my hat like this? Now you're going to make all sorts of different assumptions, aren't you? A little more fruit in the fruit cocktail. What if instead of the hat, I'm wearing my red bandana? You might look at me now and say, oh my, a bad boy biker. More likely, you're going to look at me and say, oh my, midlife crisis pretending to be a bad boy biker. What if instead I'm wearing my trusty baseball cap? Based on what the cap looks like, you're going to make assumptions maybe about where I live, about where I play golf, whether I play golf, where I went to school, whether or not I was in the service, what branch of the service, all that because of the hat. What if I wear my hat just off angle a little bit? Do you make different assumptions about my personality, about my character, if I'm wearing it backwards like this? Now. If you can make all those assumptions just based on the hat I wear, what about the car I drive? If I pull up an old beat up Dodge Dart, are you going to make different assumptions about me than if I roar in in a brand new Porsche 911 Carrera GT? Probably so. And if you can make all those different assumptions, put me in a different box, give me a different label, a different stereotype based on a hat, based on a car. What if the color of my skin is different? What about the way I talk? And you see, anytime you look at me and you make assumptions based on superficialities and externalities, you are stereotyping, you are labeling, and you are violating my dignity. More important, you are violating your integrity. The, the root of the word integrity is integer. In mathematics, that means one indivisible unified whole. In humanity, as Mother Teresa put it, it means we are all children of the same God. Now, you may look at me and say, my goodness, that guy is awful grubby. Look at him. I wonder if he's homeless. Or you can look at me and say, I wonder if he's a hobo, a vagabond. Or you might look at me and just simply say, I bet he's been hiking on a dusty trail. And of all those assumptions you've made about me from the hat, the car, the color of my skin, they're probably all wrong, except for that one. I've been hiking on a dusty trail. And so the next time you look at somebody else and you judge them based on those things, remind yourself to live your values means to stop. To not judge somebody, not stereotype, not label, but try to see the human being behind. And right now, this human being is going to continue that hike on that dusty trail. Keep your spark alive, spark plugs.